Now, how did you meet your other half? Was it at college or, or work, as in my case, or maybe even online? Well, for many young Muslims, it's a family affair, with relatives helping to pick their partner. But a growing number are now using different routes to meet the one. Yeah, some of them are even turning to dating apps, as Sabia Pervez has been finding out. This ice cream parlour in Huddersfield is a popular meeting spot for young Muslims. But dating can either be a sweet experience or incredibly sour. Throw in a side order of families and the pressure of marriage, and it all can be quite intense. Traditionally, young Muslim couples meet with their families, and after a few dinners, they arrange to marry. But things are changing. Anas and his wife were friends before they married. He says he didn't like the idea of an arranged marriage. Meeting someone in one room and just meeting them once, maybe twice, maybe three times max, and then getting married to them. Um, I've never thought you could get to know someone well enough to marry them. He and a group of young Muslims have been sharing their relationship stories as part of a project headed by Sheffield University. Together, they've produced a video on halal dating. It's got nothing to do with meat. Halal just means anything with the Muslim seal of approval. I think halal dating is different to normal dating in the sense that there are certain barriers that would not be crossed. For example, the level of intimacy would perhaps be a lot more toned down in halal date, uh, going up to the more kind of sex before marriage that perhaps they would not want to venture into that. Some Muslims like Maria say they didn't have the opportunity to date before they actually married. She says dating would have made it less awkward. I would have preferred to like um, kind of uh, meet each other like before we were married, you know, having a third person present because I would have thought that we would have got to know each other a lot better. As more and more young Muslims turn to dating sites and apps, I have come to Wakefield, home to one of the biggest and first Muslim dating site in the UK. Singlemuslim.com was founded in 2001 and now it's got over 2 million users worldwide. It was made to allow young Muslims to communicate freely with each other. Because we live in pockets up and down the country, sometimes there's kind of invisible walls there where you're not able to, to see who's next door, maybe across the road. And it's a website that's focused, prerequisite that you're a Muslim, and it's focused just on the sole purpose of marriage. Whether it is in an ice cream parlour or on a dating site, Muslims have more opportunities to meet. And this group of young Muslims are getting the conversation started. Sabir Pavez, BBC Look North.